Hey homeschoolers, are you a math person or does the thought of long division make you want to run and hide under a big fuzzy blanket? Either way, today I'm going to show you why Montessori math is 100% magic. I'm Jennifer from Branch to Bloom and today I'm going to show you the very first lesson that we taught our children using my favorite Montessori math material, the Golden Beads. This is the first video in a series, so be sure that you like and subscribe and make sure that you click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming content. So don't be intimidated when you hear the lesson title Introduction to the Decimal. We're not introducing decimal places yet, as in fractions of a decimal. We're introducing that our number system is based on 10, and so it's just basically plain old place value. But what we're going to do is explain to our children that everything in our number system is based on 10. So in order to do these lessons, what they need to do is be able to count from zero to 10 and also understand those numerals and understand the quantities that they represent before you start this series of lessons. The first thing that you're going to do is a three-part lesson. So you're going to need 1,000, 100, 110, and one unit bead for this lesson. So you'll need those. And this mat, which has the squares for the place values, you can find in my shop. And you'll also probably want a small tray and a little container to hold the unit beads so that when they, uh, the children are gathering bead material, they have an easier way to carry it. It just makes it easier. Um, and in the description box below, I've linked a material list for you. If you want a written PDF of the lesson that I'm doing today, you'll also find a link for that in the description box below. Gather your materials and place them on the mat, 1,000, 100, 110, one unit. And call your child over to see these beautiful new golden beads that you found. Uh, explain to them that they're really precious and use your tone and your facial expressions to convey how beautiful and wonderful and magical they are to you. Uh, they really are because they are gonna teach your child all about place value, which is a fundamental part of understanding math. So give them the reverence that they deserve. And when your child is in awe of them, pick up the unit bead and say, this is one unit and put it in their hand and let them hold it and have them say the name, one unit and then place it back on the mat. And then you're gonna pick up the 10 bar and you're gonna say this is 10 and pick up the unit bead again and help the child to count one unit, two units, three units, four units, five units, all the way to 10 units. And when you get to 10 units, you'll say yes, there are 10 units in one 10 bar and then place them back on the mat. And then pick up the 100 square and say this is 100 and let them hold it and feel it. They'll be interested. And um, then pick up the 10 bar again and say one 10, two 10s, three 10s, four 10s, five 10s, again, all the way to 10 10s, and say there are 10 10s in 100. And then place them back. And this is the one that's always hard to describe and it's so much easier to show in video. So then you're gonna pick up the thousand cube. And a lot of times children are really fascinated with this, especially when they're ages three to six. It just looks really cool and it, you can see, if you look down in, you can see all the different beads. So let them hold it for a moment and say, this is 1000. And pick up your hundred square and you're gonna hold it vertically over the top of the, of the cube. And Kind of like you're slicing it, you're going to say 100, 200s, 300s, 400s, 500s, all the way to 10 hundreds. Yes, there are 10 hundreds in 1,000. And then place them back on the mat. Before returning the work to the shelf, name each category again. Say one unit, 110, 100, 1,000, just so it cements in their brain. So now we're gonna test your child's recognition of these different place values. So to do that, you will ask them a series of questions and have them perform a series of tasks. So you might say something like, um, will you hold the unit bead in your left hand? And they would put it in their left hand. Uh, will you um, place the 10 bar on the back of your right hand? And if you can make it silly, that will make it more memorable for them. Uh, will you balance the 100 square on top of your head? 
will you hold the thousand cube and do 10 jumps in the air? Um, and have them just keep asking them tasks and questions and have them keep repeating these things until it seems clear to you that they know what each of these items are. And once they do, then you can um, mix it up a little bit more and make sure that you're not going in order. And as soon as they know um, which of each are, just name them one more time and say, this is one unit, this is 110, this is 100, and this is 1000 before you place them back on the shelf. So now we're gonna test your child's ability to recall the names of these different place values. So instead of telling them do this with the thousand or do this with the hundred or 10 or one, what you're gonna do is pick up in order, beginning in order, um, at, at one of the place value items and say, what is this? And they need to be able to recall what that is. So they'll say one unit. What is this? This is 10. What is this? this is 100. What is this? This is 1000. Um, and then after you've done it in order, mix it up a little bit and ask them out of order. And if they can do it out of order, then you know that they understand what all the different place values are and you can move on to presentation two. So now you're going to experiment with larger volumes of the different place value quantities. And we're going to do that with something called fetching game or a go get me game and it's fun. What you're gonna do is show your child the collection of golden bead material that you have on your shelf or wherever you have it in your home. And then you'll come to your workspace together with your child and show them the small tray and the little container. And you'll say, um, would you please get me uh, three hundreds? And then they'll take their little tray over to the shelf and they'll count out three hundreds and put them on the tray and bring them back to you. And then you'll count them out together, 100, 200, 300. And if they got the correct thing that you asked for, then you can tell them, yes, that was correct, and ask them to take it back to the shelf and get you something else. If they didn't get it correct, it's gonna be very obvious to them because you will be counting it out. And they're gonna be able to see that they can correct that themselves. And so usually they'll say, oh, I only got two hundreds. And you can say, well, why don't you go and get the other hundred and they can just go and get it um, and correct it themselves. So I really like how self-correcting this activity is. Right now in this um, preliminary get me or fetching game, you're only going to ask for one category at a time. You can ask for varying quantities up to nine, um, but don't ask for more than one. So don't ask for like 1,000 and 300s at this point. We'll do that later on. For now, just focus on the one to nine quantities for each different category. And once they are confident with that, then you know that they really have a good concrete understanding of the basics of our system being based on 10 and of place value. Are you feeling excited to teach math now? I hope so. If you liked this video, please click like, and if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment below. I always read the comments and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. You can subscribe to my channel for upcoming content so that you don't miss out on the rest of this series. And if you'd like more Montessori homeschooling tips, find me online at branchtobloom.com. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.